In this section, you will study parallelograms. You will find the areas of parallelograms and determine the lengths of their diagonals. You will also use facts about special triangles to determine the areas and perimeters of parallelograms. Here are some basic facts about parallelograms. Recall that opposite sides are congruent. Opposite angles are congruent as well. The diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. However, those diagonals are not necessarily congruent. A diagonal divides a parallelogram into two congruent triangles. Consecutive angles of a parallelogram are supplementary. Even if you don't know the measure of the consecutive angles individually, you know that their sum equals 180 degrees. The angle measures may be expressed algebraically as x and 180 degrees minus x. The formula for the area of a parallelogram is A equals base times height, or A equals BH. The base B is the length of any side of the parallelogram. The height H is the perpendicular distance from the opposite vertex to that base. In other words, the height will form a right angle with the base. Here are some tests for a parallelogram. If you are given a quadrilateral and you want to know whether it's a parallelogram, you would check for the following. If both pairs of opposite sides are congruent, then the quadrilateral is a parallelogram. If one pair of opposite sides is both parallel and congruent, the quadrilateral is a parallelogram. If the diagonals of a quadrilateral bisect each other, the quadrilateral is a parallelogram. Here is example one. Given the parallelogram below, find the area. Recall that area A equals BH. We simply substitute. The base is 7, the height is 3. We have A equals 7 times 3, and the area is 21 square units. In example 2, we are given a multiple choice question. The question asks, what is true of the parallelogram below if the measure of angle X is less than the measure of angle Y? There are two things to note. The first is that the figure is not necessarily drawn to scale. The second thing to note is this. We can think of AB and DC as parallel lines cut by the transversal BD. Therefore, by alternate interior angles, angle BDC is also equal to X. Therefore, we have a triangle with angles X and Y. The triangle inequality theorem tells us that the larger side will be opposite the larger angle. Since Y is the larger angle, DC will be larger than the side opposite X, which is BC. Now, AB is congruent to DC, and AD is congruent to BC. That means that AB is larger than AD, and the correct answer is A. In example three, you are asked to find the area of the parallelogram below. This is a more difficult problem. Look at the original parallelogram. You are told that one segment AD equals six, therefore we know that BC equals six. We're told that the segment DC has a length of four and that there's a 30 degree angle. Notice that we are not given the height of the parallelogram and we need that to find the area. As a general piece of advice, whenever you are given a figure and asked to find the area and you feel like you haven't been given enough information, try drawing a line. In particular, try drawing a line to see if you can form a triangle. If we do that, in this case, we get the line segment DE. We draw it perpendicular to the base so that it forms a right angle. In this case, we have the 30-60-90 triangle CDE. We can use the rules about special triangles to find the other side lengths. Notice that the hypotenuse of triangle CDE is 4. 
Therefore, the shorter of the two legs, DE, will equal 2. And of course, DE is the height of the parallelogram. Since we now have the height of the parallelogram and the base, we can compute the area. The area is base times height, which is 6 times 2, which equals 12. Pause the video after each problem. Come back for the answer when you are done. Practice problem 1 is a multiple choice question. Given the parallelogram below, which answer is true? A. The measure of angle X equals the measure of angle Y. B. The measure of angle X is greater than the measure of angle Y. C. The measure of angle X is less than the measure of angle Y. D. The measure of angle X plus the measure of angle Y equals 90. Or E. The measure of angle X plus the measure of angle Y equals 180. The answer to practice problem 1 is B. Since angle X is opposite the longer side 7, it must be greater than angle Y. Here's practice problem 2. Given the parallelogram below, which triangles are congruent? You are given five choices. A. The triangle AEB is congruent to triangle CED. B. The triangle AED is congruent to triangle AEB. C. The triangle ABE is congruent to triangle BCE. D. Triangle ECD is congruent to triangle EBD. Or E. This value cannot be determined. The answer to practice problem 2 is A. The answer is easier to see if you draw congruence marks. Look at the figure below. Because the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other, AE and EC are congruent, as are EB and ED. The two angles AEB and DEC are vertical angles and are therefore congruent. From this we can see that triangle AEB and triangle CED are congruent by side angle side. Practice problem 3. What is the length of diagonal BD in the figure below? The answer to practice problem 3 is 10. Since the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other and one half of the diagonal is 5, the entire diagonal must be 10. Practice problem 4. Given parallelogram ABCD with height BE, what is the area of ABED? In other words, the shaded area. The answer to practice problem 4 is 126 square units. The reasoning is this. The area of the parallelogram equals the area of the triangle plus the area of the shaded region. Or put another way, the area of the shaded region equals the area of the parallelogram minus the area of the triangle. The area of the parallelogram equals base times height, which is 13 times 12, which is 156. The area of the triangle is 1 half base times height, which is 1 half times 5 times 12, which is 30. Subtracting 30 from 156 gives 126 square units. In practice problem 5, we're given the parallelogram ABCD in which the height equals 2 square root of 3 and BE equals 8. Find the perimeter. The answer to practice problem 5 is 28. Recall that DE is a height and it makes a 30-60-90 triangle. DE is the longer of the two legs and it's 2 square root of 3. Using the rules of special triangles we know that the shorter of the two legs EC is 2 and that the hypotenuse DC is 4. BE is 8 and EC is 2. That means that segment BC is 10. Similarly, segment AD will be 10 as well. Segment DC is 4 and segment AB will be 4 as well. 
Adding those up gives us 10 plus 10 plus 4 plus 4, which equals 28.